Welcome to the meditation channel. This is a guided meditation to align you and call forth the powers, the strength, the fortune and abundance, the blessings that are related to your ancestors. We often think of our family curses or the pattern, the negative patterns in our family, but we don't often think about the blessings. What is our birthright? What has been passed down generationally that is good? And so, today we are going to amplify this and call this into our lives into our path, allowing more blessings into our lives. If you haven't already, close your eyes, sit or lie in a comfortable position, and bring stillness. Bringing your focus and attention within. Focusing on your breath. Quieting the outside world and amplifying your inside world. And take a quick moment to just scan your body, feel if there is any tension or any discomfort. And if there is, Bring your focus to that area and say to that area, I love you, you are safe, it's okay. Give it some white light. See the tension just melt away, giving yourself permission to be here right now and to do some quick healing so that you can be present and have all your attention and focus in the now. I want you now to focus on the top of your head and that would be your crown chakra. And I want you to visualize like a crown on your head and an energetic crown swirling and it's a deep purple. We're going to amplify that chakra for the time being to allow information and energies to come through. So picture a disc or a disc like crown on your, on the top of your head. And allow that disc to expand, almost like a spotlight of energy just amplifying out. And as you expand that energy, I am now going to call forth your guides and your ancestors. I'm going to call them to come through and to connect to us, to our energy, to our intuition. So that we may amplify and connect to the gifts that are our birthright. And visualize a gold light from above entering through your crown chakra. And as it enters your crown chakra, it's going to go down your body through your third eye, 
all the way down through your throat chakra, your heart chakra, your solar plexus, your stomach, all the way down to your groin. And once it reaches your groin, it's going to shoot down through you, through the floor that you're in or the ground. Down, 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 entering the earth. Down, 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 all the way down. And you can see the dirt and the insects and the rocks in the ground shooting down, down, down. Until it reaches the center of this planet, Mother Earth. And as it reaches Mother Earth, that energy is going to spread out like the roots of a tree, cocooning the core of our planet, connecting very deeply to this material world, rooting us, grounding us, connecting the yin and yang, if you like, the etherical with the physical And now I'm going to call forth your spirit guides to protect us, to shield us, to ensure that this meditation is guided from the highest and purest place, energy and intention. And as I say this, picture a beautiful white light just surrounding you, cocooning you. Shielding you, cleansing your energy and your aura from any energies or entities. Even the space that you're in, clearing and cleansing the energies. Allowing something greater into your energy. If you'd like something a little more magical. Elevating your energy, amplifying your energy, protecting your energy, strengthening your auras. Creating a barrier and a shield for only purity and highest vibration. And now that we are connected, tuned in, We're going to go and take a journey down memory lane. Bring your attention now to your third eye, your inner vision. See a triangle forming on your forehead, allowing a portal now for our vision to connect to the past, to the present and to the future. To what we cannot see in the physical world. And as we open up that portal, we are going to get access to our ancestors' lineage. Connecting to that energy now. I want you to visualize and see a path appear before you. You're going to begin to follow this path. Leading you somewhere. And as you follow this path, I want you to begin to see images, energies, maybe people and places appear around you. These are memories from your past, from your ancestors. By walking down this path, they will appear to you either 
something that you may be aware of or something that is in your DNA and you've never known before. But trust the images and information that comes up. Passed down from generation to generation. Symbols that may be related to important synchronicities that you may need to pay attention in your daily life. Energies or colors or numbers that are important to you. Ultimately, what we're doing is we're connecting to our ancestors, to our past, allowing this portal, this energy frequency to synchronize to us right now. And as you continue down this path, by the end of this path, you are going to see a huge tree. However this tree appears to you, that's perfectly fine. It may be very individual to each one of you. And as you arrive at this tree, you stand before it. Knowing that this is a symbol of your family tree, the roots underneath where it all began and the branches above spreading out, creating generation after generation. This tree is very magical and very important to you. It is a part of you, it is a part of your DNA, it is a part of your karmatic energy It represents so much in your life. You're going to walk up to this tree now and you're going to place your left hand onto it. And as you do, you're going to feel its energy. And as your palm touches that area, it is going to glow as if an energy reaction is happening. You can feel that this tree is alive. There is energy, history, power in this tree. Are you going to say to it? I honor my ancestors. I honor you. I thank you for allowing me to be here today to connect with you. I am here because I wish to claim my birthright. I wish to call forth the strengths, the powers, the blessings that belong to my family generation. I ask for your guidance. I ask for this gift. And I thank you. See the whole tree beginning to glow now. And you step back a little bit, releasing your hand from the trunk and allowing the tree to charge up. You can feel that energy, 
everywhere, every branch from the trunk even into the ground you can see that there is energy and glowing and something very, very powerful is happening right now. And suddenly, in the trunk in front of you, the trunk opens up. And as you look inside, you see a gold ring. You reach in to grab that ring, and you pick it up. And as you look at it, you will see that this ring will have a crystal, or an emblem, or maybe both. However that appears to you, this will once again be very individual. This ring represents what you just asked for. The blessings, the power, the luck that is belongs to you, that belongs to your DNA, that belongs in your generation. You're going to take this ring and place it gently on your heart for the time being and just share a moment of gratitude to the tree, to this ring, saying thank you, thank you for this gift. I will use this gift wisely. I will use this to service not just myself but others and this planet with every gift comes also responsibility and allow just if there is any information on how you could use this power this new gift for service maybe it's a calling to be kinder to the planet Maybe it's a calling to do some volunteering work. Maybe it's a call to eat less animal products. Whatever it is, just allow that information, that calling that is in your heart. And now it's time you grab that ring and you're gonna put it on one of your fingers. Taking a moment of gratitude once again, knowing that when you leave this place, this ring will be with you. And it's going to bring you luck. It's going to shield you. And it's going to lead you in the right direction in life, to the right people, places and things. Take a moment to thank the tree, to thank your ancestors. And as you do that, you may feel their presence and their energy showing up, being happy to give you this blessing. You may even see them around the tree. I will use this gift wisely. And I will use this gift to do good. Thank you. And it's time to go back, so you turn around and walk through that path again. Knowing that you have this gift, this shift. And you continue to walk through this path, watching your history once again. Any other symbols or images that show up that are important for you right now to notice. And at the end of the path, you see a light. And as you get closer and closer, it gets brighter and brighter and brighter. And finally, when you walk through it, you step through and you're back in your body, back in this room, expanding your awareness. We are now gonna call back the energies from the ground so releasing 
the roots from the core, bringing that energy all the way back up through the ground. Through the place that you're in, through the room, through the floor, back up your body, through your groin, all the way up through your stomach, your solar plexus, your heart, your throat, your third eye, shooting back up through your crown chakra, returning to its source. And we're going to close the triangle, closing that portal, restoring our energy back to its natural place, as well as we're going to do that with our crown chakra. Restoring that energy, closing that portal once again. Bringing our crown chakra back to its normal energy, balanced, recharged. Taking a moment to just be in stillness and in gratitude, knowing that we have done a very powerful shift in our lives. Allowing us to focus on the positives, the power that we really do have, and the blessings and the luck that is about to come into our life. And to use these gifts to do good, to be of service. Take your time and when you are ready you can gently open your eyes.